that God places you in an office, amen, and he gives you a calling so that you can walk worthy in the vocation wherein you have been called. So don't get fooled for, by these people with people and not experience. Amen, because when you got the experience, you know what it is to amen, hold out. You know what it is to bring your body past the prop underneath subjection. Amen. It tells somebody reality check yeah. as a man. And when my wife did only thank God for prayer, thank God for fasting, and thank God for the word of God that I can turn to. Because that's when the enemy say, yeah, I got you now. I intensify my attack on you. Mm -hmm. You see all the type of the gun tail coming before you and so forth. And then I say, the word of God says I must present myself a living sacrifice. Amen. How can I do this thing against my God? Amen. Because I know. I got, I'm talking about endurance. Amen. You got to hold and keep yourself as a servant of God. In Torrance, you got to watch the type of company that you are around. Amen. Because they can lead you astray and weaken you. Yes. So in Torrance, I can associate myself with any and everybody. Amen. They ain't gonna give me the right type of counseling. Mm -hmm. Amen. They ain't gonna help me to pray this thing through. See, with, 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 with endurance, you understand this word truly means stamina. You see individuals just break off running in this race. They are taking their time to try to absorb, amen, everything and come their cause. But they, amen, they just run. Running in ignorance. But when you get stomach, you come in your course, you watching your step, amen. Praise the Lord. You the Bible says you careful for you careful for nothing. This is all about endurance. You get to understand it, amen, that I gotta be tolerant. Amen. I may not be in the best situation, but because God put me in this situation, I got to tolerate. Tolerate means that you just there, yeah, it, it don't seem like nothing happening. And you know some individuals, they would, they would come and they would try to tell you, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? No, 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 no. So you understand what I am enduring. I truly have to acknowledge God. I truly have to wait on God so that he can do what? Strengthen my heart. Comes with patience. Yes. And all good things come to those who Amen. So intolerant. Yes. Sometimes you want to say things right away. But you got to bring your flesh underneath subjection, control your tongue and say, now is not the right time for me to say. All of that is endurance. Because people can tell you some hurtful things, yes. they can do some things. To Amen. You. Amen. And guess what? Sometimes it ain't the people out there. It's the people who claim to be saved. So you got to know how to approach every man, approach every situation. Amen. And in above it, you still got to be there and a smile, even though you want to rip up inside. That what it call an endurance. Amen. The sister might be jumping, the brother might be jumping, and they have to say some things about you. They have to talk about you. Amen. Glory to God. But you can't lose your praise, because if you lose your praise, you will Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. And for those of you who say, Amen. You say, if I'm only experiencing it yet, you better arm yourself. Yep, ready. Brace yourself up. Amen. Hallelujah. Get ready. Because it's coming. Yep. The enemy coming. Yep. 
That's right. His only job is to kill. He kill and destroy. Steal. And to destroy by any means necessary. That's true. Don't think that it's going to be a fair and an even fight. That everything going to be all right. And then make believe that everybody that smile in your face, laugh up in your right, face, now. pat you on the back, amen, glory to God. Amen. They gonna be your friend. That's who the devil gonna use to get close to okay. you. But in the midst of it all, you still got to be able to endure. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You got to be able to take it. Amen. Amen. You got to take your licking. Hallelujah. And you got to keep on ticking. So that ticking means I got to still have my praise. Come on, some of you allow the enemy to get the best of you. Allow the enemy to see you defeated. You want a man to go on every time. Oh, Pastor. Oh, oh. Stop crying, baby. Stop. That's you know what right. I tell them? That's right. You done been in the faith three years. You prayed you well. And you can only say that I will find a prayer. My God. You're preaching well. Are you telling me you endure it? You know what I mean? You, 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 you start from the beginning. So that, so that you can study this word true. That's right. And then I, can you, you visualize because you, you got to realize only the cream or the crop is come to the top. That's right. So every time you get in press, My Lord. the enemy's he's sticking you. He keeps sticking you in that spot. Until you get hot. Because the Bible says, Born hardness as a good soldier of the cross, and you got to endure it. But I find out that every time the enemy sticks somebody, hit that sport, take them on that sport. They got to let the whole world know. Okay. Oh, the enemy touch me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No, 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 no. When you hard and you rough, amen, glory to God, you get kicked on that spot. And even if you limp and you try to do what? Disguise it. You try to disguise it. Because you don't want nobody to see what is happening to you. Amen. And you still there, even if you ain't moving at the same pace. What happened if you ain't stopping? But you still moving. What I'm saying is to you, you got to keep moving forward. And then you're moving forward. You start to find out that, amen, after a while, you start to get a little stronger. Amen, because that's what when the enemy prick you, kick you, talk about you. Amen, that's what start to do what? It's just like a broken bone. And that's what God is doing to you when you endure it. God began to break you. He began to remold your thought. And then your sense of thinking and your vision. Glory to God. So after a while, you become stronger than you was ever before. Glory be to God. And somebody say you're an overcomer. Because when you get pressed, what you start to do, you start to bless the Lord. And somebody say, I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within you. You got to bless him. You got to praise him. You got to give him thanks. Hallelujah. Because you can't outlast it. You are stronger than what you're going through. Hallelujah. Touch yourself and say you're stronger than what you're going through. Amen. You can make it unto the end. Quitters never win. Somebody say I'm not a quitter, but I am a winner. Christ Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, say I persuade it. When you persuade it, you go into famine. You go into persecution. You go into all trouble. You recognize you trouble on every side. But not 
in distress. You perplex, but not in despair. Somebody give it glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be persecuted, but you ain't forsaken. Somebody said, I cast it down. And not destroy, cause it ain't over until Christ says it's over. And I, you shall live and not die. They declare the works of God. If you understand that you shall live, give him glory. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Say glory. Somebody say to hold out until the end. Your change is coming. Your change is coming. Touch yourself and say my change is coming. I got to endure. I got to endure. I will make it to the very end. Give it glory. Somebody say glory.
fiber in your body is getting towards just pulling it out until your change shall come. Because it's coming. It's coming. If you pull it out. Amen. Yeah. 